Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Alveus YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna walk you through a day in the life of our two foxes, Finn and Reed. We're gonna show you what they eat. We're gonna show you how we clean their enclosure and maintain their enclosure. And then also a little bit of training today. So if you're interested in getting to know our foxes better, stay for the video, like and subscribe. Let's go see them. So our foxes are primarily carnivorous, uh, like foxes in the wild, but they are omnivores, so they're pretty opportunistic, they'll eat lots of things. Our foxes, for the most part, get a special diet that's formulated for foxes by Missouri, um, and then they also get a mix of produce. So today they have some yellow squash, they have zucchini, carrots, a blackberry, and then they also have scrambled egg, which is one of their favorite treats. And they both get about 120 grams of kibble a day and then a small mix of produce. They also have sweet potatoes in here. They love sweet potatoes. So all of the animals at Alveus are on an enrichment schedule. We try to do as much enrichment as possible. And enrichment is just a way that we can give them opportunities to practice natural behaviors. So for the foxes, it's gonna be scavenging behaviors. It's gonna be digging, it's gonna be chewing, things like that. Uh, just to keep them as happy and stimulated as possible in captivity. So today I'm gonna make them a tube with some kibble and some dried bugs in it, and they'll have the opportunity to rip it up and forage for their food a little bit, and I think they'll really like it. So you can watch how I make it. Gonna get scissors, and I'm gonna cut this in half. This in the bottom. Kibble. Dried mealworms, a lot of them. That, there we go. Fox enrichment, so they'll have to pull this newspaper out to get to the treats inside. And that's their food and enrichment for the day. Let's go see Finn and Reed. All right, we're up here at the fox enclosure. We came up here with Kayla, who's our animal care and training manager. And this enclosure was built uh, just about a year ago for the two foxes. It's 40 feet by 26 feet. And this is where Finn and Reed live full time. So they have this big outdoor space that has a bunch of trees that we left in it. So it feels a little bit more natural. They also have an inside space where there's a concrete pad and there's AC. So during the summer when it gets super hot out here in Texas, they have the ability to go inside and escape that heat, which I think they'll really appreciate. All of the enclosures at Alveus have a vestibule. So it has a two door system. That way we know if one door is open, then the other's closed. And so we don't accidentally let an animal out. So we have two foxes in this enclosure. We have Finn and we have Reed. This is Finn. Finn was confiscated from the illegal pet trade in California. And this is Reed back here. Reed was orphaned as a baby when he was in the wild, was raised by wildlife rehabbers, and that's why he's in captivity. They're both European red foxes. This one looks more like what you'd expect out of a red fox for sure. Finn is also a red fox, but they breed them all different colors uh, and to look all kinds of crazy things for the pet trade and for the fur trade. Finn is a pet trade confiscation, so that's where he comes from. But we have both the foxes to talk about both the pet trade and the fur trade here at Alveus. So I have Kayla with me today. She's our animal care and training manager, and she's gonna show you guys a little bit of what the fox's daily training looks like. So right now, the my majority of what we're working on with the foxes is kind of basic husbandry behaviors. Uh, some of the easiest things that we can ask of them without having to get too intense. Uh, things like asking them to approach us and asking them to step to a scale, come to a target. These are things that we can build upon at a later time when we're asking them to go into kennels um, or anything really. Uh, just really basic behaviors that we can build on. Every behavior that we do, we break into what we call approximations or something that's called shaping. So any behavior that you're looking for, you start with the smallest bit, um, kind of a split of behavior into lots of little tiny steps. Um, so if I were to ask Finn to get on the scale for the first time and he had never seen it, that might be a really big ask. So the first time that we brought the scale in, we just said, hey, look, this scale is gonna be in your space. And then eventually we work with them to approach it and eventually to step on it. So everything is a series of approximations. <laughs> and you can see now he has no, no uneasiness about it. Can you come down here for a second? Good job. One up. Full step. Show him weighs seven point one kegs. Good job. Can you come back down? 
One of the other things that we're working on with him right now is getting him to sit. He is a very active fox, so sometimes he gets a little too excited, a little too distracted. We'll see if he does it today. You ready? Can you sit? Good job. Been very good. Out of the two of them when they arrived, Finn was much more willing to approach and interact with, with us than Reed was. So it's been pretty easy getting Finn to do things with us. Target. Good job. Very good. So for Reed, what I'm gonna do, he's not really comfortable with this bench. So what we're gonna do is move the scale. And that's something that as you start to train behaviors, we look for, look for that level of comfort. And if they're not comfortable with something, see what you can change in their environment as the first step. This is where we've had the most luck with Reed. Reed, come here, come here. It's okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Right back. Good. Ready? Scale. You can do it. Good. Good job. Good job. So we got it on that last one. He's 5.3 kegs. So he's put on a little bit of weight since he arrived. You can probably see how much more uneasy he was. So this was a new thing for Reed, obviously having the camera outside of the door. But you can see what I tried to do was look at the steps where he was feeling the most uncomfortable. And I kept him there for a little bit of time to build his confidence. So I was trying not to ask him for more than he was ready for. But he did great. First step, scale. Next step, conquer the world. So with a lot of animals, weighing them is just a way for us to kind of assess a very, very basic level of wellness. Um, it lets us know, especially in an enclosure where you have more than one animal, when we feed them, we tend to let them be, let them relax, let them have their food. We wanna make sure that one fox isn't getting more than the other, one fox isn't stealing food from the other. But any sudden weight change, gain or loss, can be indicative of a, of a health issue that we would have to further assess. So weighing is just a really easy, easy metric for a basic wellness check that we can do every single day. Good job, buddies. <laughs> So good. And down the road, we'll look at doing things that involve more um, touching, not petting, but more touching so that maybe we might be able to do voluntary injections in the future. Our goal with training is always to make any wellness behaviors as low stress as possible for them. That way there's less restraint work necessary because uh, obviously we need to make sure that they're as healthy as they can be. That requires getting them vaccinated. Um, so anything that we can do to make that less stressful for them is a goal for us. And it all starts with really simple things. Okay, so we're gonna give the foxes their enrichment for the day in here. You guys saw me make them, but there's some fox kibble and there's some dried mealworms. Here they are, they're getting a little treat. This one will be for Finn. And then Reed can have this one. <laughs> okay, Finn can have that one too. <laughs> So every day the foxes get a balanced exotic canine diet. It's made by the company Missouri. They also get a couple of fruits and veggies and today they're getting some scrambled egg. Uh, once a week, at least once a week, they get rodents, mice or rats. Um, they've not had quail yet, but maybe eventually. <laughs> um, but everything's balanced and then extra bits for fun. Every day in the fox enclosure, we do spot cleaning and we change their waters and stuff like that. So we have some storage in here. This is where their hose is for cleaning and a little pooper scooper. And despite this enclosure getting cleaned every day, it still is pretty stinky. Foxes are really musky. They smell kind of like skunks and they mark everything. So everything that we put in this enclosure, they end up peeing on at some point. They even have to have a decoy water bowl because they'll just pee in the water bowl. So they're really messy. Uh, another one of those reasons why you don't want a fox in your house as a pet. That's also why we have mounted water bowls so that they don't pee in them and so that they have water that doesn't have urine in it to drink.
But yeah, so every day we'll go around, we'll collect old enrichment. This is enrichment from yesterday and it's tissue paper and boxes. And they got to find the kibble inside of these boxes. So we'll pick up all the old enrichment so that they can have their new enrichment, pick up the poop. And that's pretty much it on the daily for the foxes. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, let us know by commenting. Please like and subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate that. And if you wanna support the care of the foxes and the other animals at Alveas, feel free to donate. We are a nonprofit, so we run off of donations like that. There's a link in our bio and this video is a fundraiser. So really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.